What is up YouTube? Good morning. It is Monday. It is a new day. Yesterday, this weekend, I'm just gonna let that all go. Throw it away. Push forward. We all go through difficulties. What sucks is that when you go through hardships, you can't really run away. You can't, it's just there. You can't run away. But sometimes you just have to run through that hardship and destroy it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, can't let it hurt you. You can't let it control you. You just have to like run right through that, tackle it down, move on, and, and things just get better from there. So, today's a new day. It's Monday. And let's go ahead. Let's begin the vlog. When I call up, I'm to say I'm in town. I get an ocean that we both walk the same ground Been traveling all over, such and far and away Alright, what's up YouTube? So I'm here on the freeway right now It sucks because this, you know, there's something wrong with my car And look at my car right now Look at the left side, it's like about to overheat So I'm gonna have to stop over here on the... Ah, oh, come on! Don't let my car overheat Dang it man, my car overheated on the freeway Ah! This sucks. Ugh. What is up, YouTube? Okay, it is now. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Look what's going around me. Oh my gosh, what is all of that? Ah! I'm actually in a car wash right now. I just got out of DMV, paid $300 for my registration. Ah, it's so loud. Can you even hear me? <laughs> but yeah, so it's a new day, new beginnings, and let's start. The vlog. Can you hear me? Thank you. I'm getting Chick Fil A. Sorry, I'm distracted by that. Beetle on your windshield right now. Oh sh! It's dead. Hey, you know what? Let's say we talk then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> there was a giant beetle. Um. <laughs> no, my God. Anyway, YouTube, uh, plans for today. I already went to the DMV, was there for two hours. Um, other plans, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do laundry. Go to the um, auto shop, I have to pay. I already paid $400 at the DMV, and I'm gonna pay another $400 to get my car fixed, possibly $1,000. Uh, a lot of bills, but getting a lot of things done on my day off. I'm really glad that my company let me get this day off so I could take care of things. And so now, to be honest, if I don't do these things now, I'll never get it done because I never have time. You know, it's a new day, new things, new things going on, staying strong. But yeah, YouTube, so I posted the video, it was the most difficult time of my life ever. The support that I've gotten from everyone has been absolutely, has been overwhelming, especially for my family and friends. They've really helped me a lot, given me a lot of support. And I just want to say thank you everyone and you know to be honest like I'm, I'm surprised by how many views my videos getting already that one video simply because it's talking about a tough time in my life but unfortunately you know people like watching that stuff people like watching videos about hardships that people go through you know <laughs> uh, all my other videos my other content I put up are just as good if not even better but I guess people like drama but that's, that's also not the reason I even uploaded the video the reason I put up that video is because it's a hard time in my life that I wanted to share. But today, what I will talk about, you know, sometimes people think, do programmers even have lives? Because, like what you say, Chris, all the time, you have to study code, you have to continuously learn to stay relevant within the industry. Um, you know, you have to, you know, you can't just stay stagnant as a developer. And so people are asking questions, do developers even have lives? Am I just an exception? Am I different? Do Am I just the only one that have lives? But what about all the developers at my work? Um, and that's what I'll talk about today throughout the vlog. And so what better time to talk about when, than on my day off? <laughs> well, so we'll talk about that today. Oh my gosh, that was dangerous. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, anyway, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I shouldn't do this. Peace. All right, what's up, YouTube? So I'm here at I'm here at Nissan right now. I'm getting maintenance on my car. It's gonna cost four hundred fifteen dollars, man. Spent four hundred dollars at DMV. Now I'm spending four hundred dollars at Nissan. Ah, it's all right. Life. <laughs> Alright YouTube, so I'm here at Nissan, like, as you know, uh, I'm getting my car fixed. This is actually the place where I bought my car 2015, so pretty cool, pretty cool. 
uh, getting my car fixed. They're actually going to give me a loaner. I was planning on renting a car, but it's nice. They're going to give me a loaner to use to use for the next couple days, and that's going to be pretty cool. Which car is it? So I'm going to give you this one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, this is your car, so you could just, you know, transfer oh, wow. whatever stuff you need. Nice, thank you. Um, we're just going to do a quick inspection for anything. Yeah, sure. So, mm -hmm. uh, I have it on video too, so. <laughs> is this a check? Yeah, it's a check. Yeah, it's a check. Right over here. Yeah, it's a check. Okay. But I will give you the address. Okay. Yeah, so you can just, you know, call them and ask them to come pick it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, what's up, YouTube? So, I just got back from the dealership. The car that they actually gave me was a Nissan Sentra. It's actually a higher quality version of the car I have now, white one. And they said I could drive to Vegas if I wanted to visit my family, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I tried flying my drone over there, couldn't do it. So I figured I might as well do it now. <laughs> you guys see it? Hold on. It's right there. Maverick? Yeah, the Maverick. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I want to <laughs> it's all the way down over there. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mavericks are usually uh, known for their, um, their ability to really maneuver and be steady. Um, but for some reason, this Mavic isn't really that steady. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a new one uh, right now. And I'll return this to Amazon tomorrow. All right, what's up YouTube? So this is pretty much gonna be end of the vlog. All right, what's up YouTube? Hey guys, um, I know it's a little dark right now in my uh, car right now, so I do apologize about that. And what I talked about, which is if developers really have lives, the audio was actually horrible on that video. And so I didn't want to use it. I mean, all the content was there, but it, uh, it just wasn't good. So it is a different day from that vlog and I might as well just want to talk about what I want to talk about again. Do developers really have lives after work? I mean, do developers even have lives outside of coding? Because it does take a lot of man hours just to learn code. You have to put in a lot of effort, a lot of work. You have to put in a lot of determination to even learn code in the first place. So, you know, people have this misconception from TV shows and movies that people are just like in the computer, on the computers all the time. To be quite honest, there are developers that are like that, but doesn't mean all developers are like that. To be quite honest, a lot of people in the just don't, even those who don't code are on their phones and on their computer all day every day but as programmers because that's all we do I mean of course you have to hustle you have to work hard to become a programmer you have to put in so much effort just to learn code but when you do become a programmer it doesn't mean you have to continuously study code 20 hours a day or something right I remember having those days and so do developers have lives I mean just look at this entire video I, had, I did a drone footage I with my YouTube channel and the vlogging and everything about my life yeah developers have lives recently my technical director went on to a um, a mission trip to South America. Another junior developer just went to Washington DC on vacation. Another developer just got married in Brazil recently, right? Another developer like travels everywhere, you know? We have people who live across the country. There are people who drive pink cars just for fun, <laughs> right? Developers have lives. Of course, I, to be quite honest, I think developers have a lot more freedom than the usual like job. If I was to work at a, a regular company, I can't do what I do now. I wouldn't have the freedom. I wouldn't get paid as well. I'm not saying being paid well means you have a better life. But man, we're able to do much more. We're able to enjoy a little bit more too. Now, should money be a life? No. But the main point of this topic is do developers have lives? Of course we have lives. Man, I love my life. I'm so thankful for my life. I'm able to do so many things I could have never done before. And it's all because I studied code. That's it. Yes, developers have lives. We have financial security, we have secure jobs, we have all these things, we have you know, companies that take care of us, all these things that no, like normal jobs don't really give you. So yes, we do have lives. We, you know what? We tend to have even better lives because we feel like actual like real people at our companies. We don't feel like just like just slaves or just working over and over like 40 hours a week and that's it, but we actually enjoy what we do, we love what we do. 
We enjoy these problems and solving them, solving bugs and making apps. It's fun. It's satisfying. So yes, developers do have lives, believe it or not. <laughs> so this is going to be the end of the vlog. Thank you for everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please, if you can, like the video below. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. If Even if you've never left a comment before, leave a comment for once and it would mean the world to me. Thank you guys for all the support. I love you all. I'll see you guys later. This is Krishan. This is the life of a developer. And I'm out. Peace. Thank you.